Hello everyone, I'm Shaman Gouda, CSAT Faculty at Insights. I welcome you once again the CSAT series question of the day 18. The question says, which one of these is not a perfect number? Okay. Which of these is not a perfect number? Okay. Look at the name, perfect number. I'll explain what is perfect number before answering to this question. Look at this table. Okay. Perfect numbers are the numbers whose sum of the factors other than itself is equal to 1. Okay. I repeat. Perfect numbers are the numbers whose sum of the factors other than itself is equal to the number itself, then it's called perfect number. I'll explain this one. Look here now. What are the factors for 6 here? Factors means divisors. In the previous videos also I have told you divisors. Means which are the numbers which can completely divide 6. Okay, look here. 1 can divide 6, 2 can divide 6, 3 can divide 6 and also 6 is also a factor of itself. 6 can divide 6 also. Now, other than 6 here, other than itself, whatever the factors you are getting here, if you sum this 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 3, 6, we are getting the same number, right? Then 6 is called a perfect number. Similarly now, 28, factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, 14, 28. Okay, 28. If I remove 28 here, the sum of the factors, okay, other than 28 itself, it's nothing but 28 itself, see 28, then this is a perfect number. Similarly, 496 is a perfect number. 8128 is a perfect number. Only 51 such numbers are recognized till now. Not all the numbers are perfect numbers. Only till now, 51 such numbers are recognized, okay. Perfect numbers are the numbers whose sum of the factors other than itself is the number itself. Then it's called a perfect number. And from 1 to 100 or else within 100, how many perfect numbers are there? Only two perfect numbers are there. Anything can be a question here. Okay. He can give some conditions and ask. Now, going back to the question. Now you got to know what are perfect numbers. Okay, now it's easy to answer this question. But in this case, which one of these is not a perfect number? We just saw that 6 is a perfect number. 28 is a perfect number. 496 is also a perfect number. So, 1331 is not a perfect number. And whatever not is, that must be your answer. So, the answer in this case is 1331. And this is the bouncer of the yesterday. And this question was asked in 2013. The question says a person can walk a certain distance and drive back in 6 hours. Okay. A person is traveling certain distance. Okay. Let's consider this distance as D. He is traveling this distance from one side from here to here. Let's consider he is going by walk. Okay. And from here to here he is coming back by driving. Okay. One way walking, one way driving. A person walks and drives back in 6 hours. The total time taken is 6 hours here. Now, he can also walk both ways in 10 hours. If the same distance D, if he walks both ways here also and this distance also, if he walks, okay, here he is also walking, here he is also walking. He takes how much? 10 hours. Okay, 10 hours. Look here. If he walks this way and also this way, if he is taking 10 hours, okay, he is going and coming back. Taking 10 hours means for going 5 hours and coming back 5 hours, isn't it? That means this person can walk from here to here, this distance in 5 hours. So, from here to here while walking, he takes 5 hours, isn't it? Out of 6 hours, if one side walking takes 5 hours means the other side driving will take 1 hour, isn't it? 1 hour. If for driving one side it takes 1 hour means for two side driving it will take 2 hours, isn't it or not? Okay. 1 hour driving coming from here to here and going back again takes 2 hours. And this is the bouncer of today guys. 
try to solve this question and put the answers in the comment section keep watching the videos see you in the next video